G'day everyone, it is that time of year, time to look back and reflect on all the tools that have come to us in the Makita 40 volt line this year, 2022. So, I am going to give you my top 5, they're my top 5 favourite that I like to use, and it was much harder to do than I thought. At first I thought, oh yeah, this will be easy, but then I sort of actually started gathering together all the tools and thought, whoa, there's a lot more than I thought there was. So this is my top five, but yeah, there might be a few extra in there, we'll see what happens. Some of them I can't even fit here on the bench, and that leads us to our very first entry at number five, the VAC and Midasaur. This is of course the LS003G, the 305mm or 12 inch miter saw. It is a nice bit of kit. You can cut boards up to 380mm wide. As well as that, you can cut through a 4x4 or 100x100 post in one pass. Now did you hear that? The vacuum started up by itself and turned off by itself. Let's take a look at that. This is the VC004G AWS VAC. It takes two 40 volt batteries, but it only needs one to run. So it's a 40 volt tool, not an 80 volt tool. You'll get about 40 odd minutes on full whack with those two 8 amp hour batteries. When you have an AWS chip inside your AWS tool, when you pull the trigger, the VAC will automatically start up. And then after a certain amount of time, it will turn itself off. How cool is that? That's why these two are my number five combo. At number four, let's go chainsaws. This year Makita released a number of chainsaws. They've released a pole saw. They've released a beast of a rear handle chainsaw. But my favorite is this, the top handle. This is the UC004G. It has a 350 millimeter bar on it. Now, depending on where you are in the world, your versions might be slightly different. They range from 250 to 350. Now, this is my favorite because it's light. You can use it one-handed. It's got heaps of grunt. It's fast. It's got a real high chain speed, but it's still got the torque to back that up. So it's a great little all-round chainsaw for people in their gardens at home and stuff. This will do most of the things you ever need a chainsaw to do, providing you're not going logging. So that is why this is my number four. Coming in at number three, a tool I think a lot of you may have thought I would put at number one because I do use it a lot and I talk about it a lot and it's amazing how handy this tool is. It is of course the Makita 40 volt dust blower. This is the AS001G. It is a four speed personal little hand blower and it is an awesome tool. You can lock it on. It is handy for so many things, blowing down tools at the end of the day, blowing down yourself at the end of the day, getting all the shit out of your hair. It is great for cleaning out filters and blowing out pipes and hoses and it's just amazing how many things you will find to do with this tool. Great for blowing out anchor holes when you drill holes in concrete. Just a fantastic, super handy bit of kit. It's nice and light, easy to hang on your tool belt and is just a great bit of kit and it has a bunch of available accessories such as these. So that is my number three and coming in at number two Um, I think I might take the jandals off for this one. That's right, coming in at number two, the DG001G 40 volt earth auger. This thing has been a lifesaver this year for me. I wish I got one earlier. I borrowed one off cam earlier in the year, which you've probably seen the video of. And boy oh boy, is it a cool tool to use. 
Not only is it fun, it gets the job done quick and easy and it's nice and light and you don't need petrol and all that stuff and it's not going to throw you around like a standard traditional post hole borer. It is effectively the Makita 40 volt right angle drill with a big handle on it and when you put this adapter in here you turn it into something capable of holding and driving earth augers which Makita have recently released three of as well, specifically for this tool and the 18x2 version of this tool. They have released a 100, a 150 and a 200 millimeter auger. And each auger bit has a double spiral and they work very nicely with these cordless tools. Each auger is 800 millimeters long, has two different cutting edges, which are replaceable if you wear them out. And they also come with a corkscrew to get you started. And there is an extension available as well if 800 ain't long enough for you. Don't they look awesome all nice and shiny like this? I feel there's another Earth Olga video coming up. Make sure you subscribe. Right, now before we get to my number one, how about some honorable mentions? This is the 40 volt planer. This thing has power to burn. It has AWS. It cuts down to four millimeters deep. This is by far the best cordless planer by a considerable margin over every other brand. The CS002G metal cutting saw. What's the difference between the two and the one? It's just this little handle here, which makes the guard move. Simple as that. Um, this is a great piece of kit. It not only looks good, but it cuts metal so easy. I just kind of wish that the Makita blade lasted a little bit longer than they do. But yeah, great, great tool for cutting metal. I love this spotlight. The 40 volt trim router, very similar to the 18 volt, fits in all the 18 volt and the corded attachments but also has AWS, which the 18 volt one doesn't have, and also the power to get you out of situations when the 18 volt struggles. But what is my number one? It is, of course, the lantern. Just kidding. Number one is actually, drum roll please. The HS011G 270 millimeter. 10 and 5 eighths of an inch circular saw. It looks a bit rough though, doesn't it? That old blade on it. This is number one, so I guess I should give it a nice new blade. So we'll do that, eh? That looks a bit better now, although it is still missing something. And that is this. This is a removable sub base. You can use this not only as a base extension, but flip it over and you have your rip guide not only that but it also has a track compatible base very cool a lot of makita saws coming out with that nowadays it's also got this cool feature but best of all it's just big 270 millimeters this thing will cut through 104 mil of timber you can cut through fence posts no problem at all with this one pass Just wait until you see how deep this thing can cut at 45 and 60. I didn't cut it too straight and it rubbed on the blade a bit, but it did do 75 mil deep. I now do a lot of my ripping with this thing because you can rip through two two inch pieces of timber in one pass. It also bevels to 60 degrees and it has a reverse bevel of minus one degrees. It's got AWS. I mean, it is almost the perfect saw. And it runs on batteries. I mean, how cool is that? Look at the size of it. And it runs on batteries. This is a really cool saw. This is my number one Makita 40 volt tool for 2022. What's 2023 going to bring? Well, there is some very cool stuff for 2023. But you'll have to wait for one of my update videos for that because I don't want to give it all away right now. It looks to be a bumper start to the year. All the tools I've just shown in my top five and the ones that weren't in the top five, they've all been reviewed by me. The links are down in the description, except for the Midasaur. Sorry, I still haven't finished doing that one. Uh, one day, one day. Uh, but the rest of them are all down there and there might be some links to buy them if you're interested in getting them in different parts of the world. So take a look down there. 
So thanks for watching my top five Makita 40 volt tools of 2022. Might get another couple of videos out before the end of the year. Might be some fun ones. Who knows what's going to happen. I'll see you guys on another one soon. And if not, I'll see you next year with a heap more Makita 40 volt stuff. And of course, Makita 18 volt stuff. And of course, all the other brands, if I find the time. Cheers, guys. Have a good one. Have a good Christmas, New Year, etc. See you later.